Maybe I know all your secrets But you tell me stupid lies Oh, you think you can escape now Good morning Today is Saturday, uh, 6.30 in the morning, and sunrise about to happen. I am up since 5.30 today, and I am going to Goodwill Bands. But before, of course, I want to see beautiful ocean and the sun. And after, I'm planning to stop at Starbucks to have my uh, breakfast coffee and my favorite pumpkin bread. I need some energy because today I'm planning to go to Goodwill Beans and also I'm driving to Boca Raton in couple thrift stores. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But in today's video we're going to Goodwill Beans in Fort Lauderdale to look for treasure. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous ocean, sun and the sky. Just gorgeous. I'm so lucky I live in South Florida, but tell you the truth, sometimes I wish we have a snow for a couple days only. I'm originally from Russia and I grew up in a really cold place and we always have snow and a real winter. And I live in Florida for the past 17 years, so of course I miss the snow sometimes. But just look at that, how beautiful is that. How gorgeous is that? Good morning, everyone. Let's go to Goodwill Bins to look for a treasure. Good morning one more time. We are here. Let's go to see what we can find. Welcome to the Goodwill's Outlets. Uh, today I forgot my uh, headphones at home, that's why um, you can hear all noises <laughs> happening around. Thanks God they don't have loud music today. I know most of you are wondering what is the voice, <laughs> voice behind. <laughs> that's my voice because uh, when I'm going to uh, Goodwill's I usually make video and I'm uh, speaking Russian so I'm used to make uh, videos for my Russian channel. I have my Russian channel for many years now, so and um, a couple months ago I decided to start making English video. That's why I'm doing a uh, voiceover most of the time. But in the future, near future, I am going to try to make just speak English and at uh, the Goodwill Bins. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so today I would like to try something new. I would like to check out some plushes, some plush toys. Because a couple days ago I found one video uh, and I was surprised how much money people want to pay for a plushes. Some of them cost even thousands of dollars that's crazy so i am going to look and maybe i get lucky one day of course i have to do my research i have to watch a lot of videos and um, hopefully one day i'm going to have this knowledge the more you do the more you learn I can say that in a couple of years doing the resale, even a part time, I learn a lot. I learn a lot of brands. I I didn't know something like that exists before. I'm thinking um, to create one video about plushes and share with you knowledge which one I am going to have soon because I'm doing 
my research as I told you and I'm learning and uh, probably I'm gonna make a video and share with you what I learned and maybe it's gonna be helpful for someone else who wants to learn I just love to check when they have different boxes with different stuff inside like this one oh, look at this Fortnite do you remember this game? <laughs> my daughter she used to play this game uh, she's not playing anymore only Roblox I guess she playing some time ago I started to check different um, cassettes not like DVD like uh, old style cassettes let's see if we can find something today and this uh, in my bins a uh, long time ago they used to have two full bins of uh, like a books and cds dvds and then they just change it and they start bringing different stuff inside but uh maybe a couple of weeks ago a month ago they start uh, bringing this back so it's two full bins loaded with books and cds and it's so hard to go through each of that uh, we have some people who comes in these bins and they're like very professional about books they always scan so fast i don't sell books uh, i sold some books which one i have my personal stuff but i'm not like a professional at the books but I uh, like to see the books because um, I like to find something for myself. Oh, look at those uh, dinosaurs. Maybe or something, maybe it's not. I have to learn. I just learned from the video I watched a couple of days ago. That's the um, Lion King. Remember? Do you remember this uh, cartoon movie? That the toys from this cartoon, not just from Disney. Disney. It's a Disney and something else. Another name. I'm not remember. I don't remember now. But if I see it, I'm sure I'm gonna remember. So it's like a Simba or someone else, and it costs a lot of a lot of money. Also, I learned that the secondary characters are selling even more and for more money than just like the main characters. For example, if we have a movie like Cartoon Disney, for example, uh, Mickey Mouse is like a main character, but little small and other characters like uh, Goofy sells more. I just give you an example. It's not like Disney stuff sells from different cartoons, from different movies and stuff. And Mickey Mouse, uh, I don't think somebody needs Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Just a regular Mickey Mouse, maybe some vintage stuff, yes. Oh, look at this picture. That's my favorite brand. I have so many coffee cups from this brand. I just love stuff like that. Leave, love, the bark. It's for dogs. I have uh, like a little container from this brand for my dogs where I keep the treats. And I found at uh, Goodwill Beans as well. But I have to stop myself. Uh, I'm not bringing nothing else to my home. I have too much stuff. Uh, this week I have a um, challenge for myself I usually list like not so many things because I have so many uh, another stuff to do as you know already so this week I decided to challenge myself for example yesterday I went to the beans yesterday that's the video from yesterday and I uh, when I come back home I listed 15 or even 16 items that's a big huge progress for me so i decided that this week i want to be consistent and i want to list every single day at least five ten items and let's see if i can do it because i always start i do this for one two three days and after i just start doing another things and i just forget about it but this week i want to challenge myself 
I want to create like a, a like a piece of paper where I'm going to write down every day how much I listed and let's see if it's going to help me to bring my sales up. I found old birds. Finally, I think it's my first time finding it. No, no, second time. But first time I left it behind because it was in a bad condition. This one is like brand new men's. A new one like this costs $130 or even more. So I decided I'm going to grab it and see if I can sell it. I have a couple legs already. Now look at this jacket. It's beautiful, but it was a pen or something. Pen stain and somebody tried to clean it with something and make even worse than before. What is that? I think it's an old navy. I'm not getting old many old navy even as a newbie stock i don't want to bring old navy i think in my opinion if person wants to get old navy it's so cheap that you can go to old navy and get it yourself brand new i don't think it's a good uh, brand for resale maybe if they have a good quality like a sweaters like a cashmere or wool sweater then maybe even thought I have a couple cashmere sweater from Old Navy. That's the first time I decided to try. Let me try and sell it. It's still sitting in my closet. Okay, uh, look at this belt. When I got home, I checked the brand. It's an expensive brand. Used belts like that, you can sell at least for $40, $50. Okay, let's go check. They have a new stuff out, new bins here. No, actually, it's the same beans. I uh, just uh, go back uh, because uh, most of the time, like people, when they grab the stuff, they look and they don't want it. They're just gonna put it back, and you can go and look after them, and maybe you find something you want to grab for yourself. They don't like it, maybe you like it for yourself. Uh, maybe like six months ago, I found. Um, different figures uh, Mary Mumus if you heard of it's a very collectible and people wants to buy them I found about 20 pieces and I think I sold maybe four or five of them for 30 35 dollars around this range but um, I decided oh my god it's sitting so long and selling so slow so I decided to put them together I have 11 in total right now and I s list them at my eBay store auction for $19.99 starting bid I already have one bid for that and seven people watching for that four days left uh, let's see how much I can make hoping to sell it at for at least uh, $100. So when I have stuff sitting on my shelves for a long time, I want to do anything to move it on or donate it back if I know this stuff is not gonna sell. Uh, like for example, today I donated two bags of uh, goodies <laughs> to Goodwill Beans. I don't donate it after I left the store to make sure i not gonna <laughs> go to the bins <laughs> and find my own personal stuff or you have if i have something and it is not selling for a while i can make like a bundle or i can put an auction like a, those lady uh, i'm sorry mary mumu's figures so in four days i'm going to let you know for how much i was able to sell 11 pieces Let's see what else we can find. Today, at the good will be this weekend. I'm so lucky. I'm going to the bins for uh, two times. So, examples of some um, fabrics, I guess. I watched a video from uh, Harry Tornado and um, he found some examples of uh, painting stuff like that, paints, and he got for one dollar and I think he he said that it was able to sell for really good money, for at least like twenty dollars I believe. So if you see examples of paints, I don't remember what brand was it.
grab it, especially if you find it good will beans. Uh, I'm so wondering why in my area we never have discounts because as I watch two different resellers from different states some of people have 50% off all day at Goodwill Beans we never had this we always had to pay full price the same at regular Goodwill stores they have a 50% off everything all day in my city we don't have none of those I'm just wondering why we don't have none of those my friend she lives at Fort Myers it's a uh, on another side of Florida and today is a Sunday she told me that they have a sale 50% of everything in Goodwills in her area in my area we have none of those only for colors and um, at Salvation Army on Wednesdays they have a 50% off but I went in Salvation Army once on Wednesday and it was like a hell house I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, of course, it's a lot of people there because everybody wants to buy something and the line was like whole, like whole, around the store to pay for your stuff. So I found a couple things and then I decided, you know what, I'm not going to stay one hour in a line, then I'm going to grab those couple things. I'm just going to leave it behind. I come back here when it's going to be just a normal day and I don't have to, you know, worry about it. <laughs> Oh, look at this puzzle. I'm gonna grab it. It's a new, it's still sealed. It's how much is it? $15. But even I'm not gonna sell it, I'm gonna give it to my daughter because she likes puzzles and she likes uh, Paris. Oh, look what I found. It's a little. a little something from uh, like uh, Egypt or Greece. Looks like an Egyptian souvenir for me. At Goodwill Outlets you can find souvenirs from different countries, from different states. You don't even need to go and travel anywhere. I have so much stuff at home too. I have like a little bowl from Canada. I have some Turkish eye souvenirs. I have something else. There's a cup, Kaiser. Always look look at little bags if something is hiding inside. But lately, yeah, I don't find so much good stuff hiding in the little bags or purses or pockets or anywhere else. Look at this candle, brand new. Okay, so I think it's just time to go to my cart and see what I found so far and uh, check the comps, check the uh pricing see what i'm gonna get see what i'm gonna leave let's go check it out okay i have this nine west t-shirt first time i see clothes from uh, nine west i thought they have only shoes i decided to grab it because it's good size and uh, it looks fine it looks good let's see if uh, i can sell it for at least 15 20 dollars got some Disney stuff I have this Limoges, Limoges friends um, little plate I have this uh, olive green jacket it's not so expensive but um, this design I think will sell really good and fast I found those jeans I want to check if uh, it wash anything or it's not Okay, what else? I have this blanket. I want to check it out what kind of brand is that. Maybe it's a vintage. I have this story dress, the orange one. I thought it is a fast sales, but uh, you're not making much money. But anyway, it sells. If I see Torrid at a regular thrift store, I'm not gonna buy it. If I see it at uh, Bins, yes, I'm gonna grab it. Torrid and uh, J. Jill also. I found this uh, cardigan, but I'm not gonna leave. I'm, I'm not gonna take it because it's not so much money. I want to make at least twenty dollars from piece, but as for Torrid, I can make less money. But I know it's gonna sell for sure and it's gonna sell fast. But this brand, I'm not sure about it, so not gonna take it. Okay, let me cover my cart and let's go because they have a new stuff, new beans. Let's go check before I leave.
I found another old birds, exactly same size, same design, but a different color, black sh black one. And it's only one, so I uh, save it. And I'm hoping to find another one. It will be nice uh, to have it. Oh, let's look at this box. Somebody left us a present inside. Uh, no, it's empty. You're right. <laughs> no presents. No today. Oh, it's coach. And it's really good condition and it's a uh, nice style. I would grab it. And we need to say, find another one now. Oh, I'm so stressed out when I have only one pair of shoes and I have to keep looking for another one. But this shoes look like a coach. I'm not worried much about it. So if I find good, if not, not. When I found uh, Balenciaga sneaker long time ago, I was really worried about it. And I was looking everywhere for hours to find the second pair of Balenciaga. And guess what happened? I didn't find the second pair, but I decided to leave it for myself. It's a brand new Balenciaga. I believe it's 350 brand new. So I decided to keep for myself and just to put on my shelf. But I heard you can sell uh, even one pair of shoes. So maybe I can try it. With Balenciaga, yes, but coach. Uh uh, it's not worth my time. I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking it too. Maybe we should both just let it go. You know my anxiety, I'm trying to be what you want, and I get so overwhelmed. Every time I climb up your walls, grab my hand, and you let me fall. I'm still standing here through it all, but you know. I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking it too. Maybe we should both just let it go. You know my anxiety, I'm trying to be what you want, and I get so overwhelmed. Every time I climb up your walls, grab my hand and you let me fall. I'm still standing here through it all, but you know I hate my life. So, well, 14 pounds after. $28 spent, I have full bag of good stuff and I'm leaving and I'm going to Boca Raton for in couple three stores, it's gonna be next video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, for supporting my channel, please subscribe and like this video and I'm gonna see you next one, bye bye, have a happy weekend, bye.